For nearly a decade, we've watched the saints as they rose from humble beginnings to becoming an unstoppable force of nature. In that time, we've seen how the saints rose to power. We've seen how the saints enact vengeance. We've even seen how the saints united both humanity and velociraptors. But for the first time ever, I share with you their most important story yet. For this, my friends, is how the saints saved Christmas. Or what? Eh, nah, wasn't planning on it. Come on, don't be such a Grinch. I don't even know what that means. What sort of childhood did you have? I just think there's more important things to think about than some bullshit holiday. Looks like someone never got on the nice list. Yeah, and see, that's the thing. There is no nice list. So Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, Yule, Festivus? You don't care about any of it? That's right. You don't like the songs? Nope. You don't like the gift giving? I already take whatever I want. I said giving. Whatever. You don't get excited about setting up the Nightblade Nativity every year? Nah, that's slightly intriguing, but no. What about Santa? Fox Santa. What's happening? Were we hit? No, the proximity alarm didn't go off. This is something different. Shandy? We don't have a lot of time. Claus is coming. What? Claus, a warlord from my time, your future. By the time we learned about him, it was too late. He was too powerful. The only chance we had to stop him was to send me back here to warn you. Oh, wait, wait. If you could go back in time, why didn't you go back even further and warn us about Zinyak? Isn't that a little more important? You don't get it. This isn't about Earth. Come midnight, Christmas Day, Santa Claus is coming to town, and unless we stop him, he is going to put the universe on the naughty list. And trust me, you don't want to be on the naughty list. Sorry I asked. So Santa's evil? No, Zinyak's had Santa trapped for decades, slowly but surely degrading his mind. If we don't free him soon, it'll be too late, and he'll never be jolly old Saint Nick again. Guys, this is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. All right, all right, I'll save Santa. Oh, look, another terrible fucking sweater. Thank you, Kinsey. In Santa's nightmare world, the holiday spirit doesn't exist. So if you want to bring it back, you wear whatever it takes. Real guns aren't allowed here, so we'll have to check the store and do a little holiday shopping. Also, be careful of your language around Santa. We're trying to stay on his nice list. Are you serious? Come on, the town department store is just ahead. What's with the crowd? They're here for the Crimson Cowboy Carbine Action 200 Shot Range Model Air Rifle. Crimson Cowboy! What have you done? Oh, come on. Is this about being naughty? You have no idea what that causes. Look. Those who are naughty look to the sky and see your doom with the naked eye. You willfully break the world's laws. Now feel the wrath of the mighty claws. Well, come, come as fast as you can. You can't stop me or my gingerbread men. Now cookies are attacking me? Screw it. Time for a little crimson cowboy action. Wait! Claws is still too strong, and you'll shoot your eye out! 
Really you? I always warn children about the dangers of such toys. But why do you look so thin? The holiday spirit doesn't exist here anymore. Claus made sure of that. So, Santa, how do we stop him? Start by ringing the holiday bells in the town park. That should bring a little spirit back to the people. and then let's kill Claus. My dear Shandy, don't let your metallic parts turn your heart cold as well. Remember the holiday spirit you felt when you were younger. You know my name? Sam. I'm sorry. I had no choice but to harden myself to fight the war. I forgot how I used to be. No worry. That same girl is still inside you. In fact, I'll bet There'll be a brand new hockey sack under the tree for you this year. You need it? Thanks, Santa. Take too long.
began ringing in the cheer, but more needs to be done. I don't understand any of this, so I'm open to suggestions. There was once a theater in town that played one of the great holiday classics, but the projector was stolen and frozen in a pool by claws. Find that, and the people will remember what they loved about the holidays. So we have to play a movie. Yeah, this sounds like a plan. It is not just a movie. It is a symbol of all that is good about this time of year. Don't worry, sir. We can get the projector. Take out the guards so they don't hurt the projector when you grab them. this ice. Now, we must get it to the drive-in theater and turn on the magic of the season. It's a movie. Call it what it is. Oh, it's more than simply that. It creates a feeling of joy and happiness that comes with remembering the warmth this season brings to those who embrace it. Whatever you say. Yes, now quit being a Grinch. I told the other you, I don't know what that means. The holiday spirit, it stings and burns. But that's not enough for the tide to turn. We brought him down. He's not defeated yet. The electricity here just isn't enough to keep the projector working. We need more. I noticed precisely that while viewing your progress from our ship. Meet me at the clock tower and I will increase the power. It is a pleasure to meet you, Set. Where is that floating tin can? Ah, at the top of the clock tower! Keep Claus's minions from hurting me while I set up a conductor on this antenna. For what? A storm is brewing. Lightning is sure to strike. <laughs> what a wonderful idea. We must be joking. Nick, do you know what happened to the North Pole? Sadly, I do not. Claus has shown me images of an attack on my workshop. My head elf, Twinkle, has even joined with me. He's the one who took my arm. I saw him, but there is hope. The rest of the elves are being led by Tinsel against Claus's naughty forces. And Mary? <laughs> Don't worry about Mrs. Claus, Charlie. I'm sure she can take care of herself and the North Pole until we arrive. That's good to hear. If Claus gets his hands on the North Pole, then we're in serious trouble. I need you to put your tongue on the pole to help conduct the electricity. The fuck you say? Not in front of Santa. Shanti, did you hear what Sid asked me to do? There's no way I'm doing that. No. Well then, I dare you. Gandhi, I'm not talking to you right now. The power is restored. Good luck defeating Claus. I can feel the people in town filling with cheer. Hurry, we must return to the drive-in. Let's set this up so we can kill him and get out of here. The spirit's alive, but still I live. Come face me now, there's punishment to give. Don't let him fool you. He's weakening. Keep your suit on, Santa. I got this. The holiday here you cannot save. I will not go to an early grave. Sorry, Claus. Not from where I'm standing. Wait! What are you doing? Oh my god! What just happened? You cannot defeat Claus by doing naughty deeds for 
Those are what he thrives on. Claus is going after the North Pole, and we have to stop him. Indeed, you are correct. We cannot leave Mary and the Elves to face him alone. Seriously, the North Pole. Fine. Let's go. I finally get to see it before it's been destroyed. <laughs> and perhaps make sure it never is. Claus has taken over Santa's workshop. He plans to deliver bombs and guns to children instead of, you know, dolls and trucks or whatever it is kids from your time like. The elves have mounted a resistance, but they will fail unless you help them. If Claus succeeds, the holidays are doomed. You must stop him. Here we are. My workshop is just ahead. It's hard to say what Claus has turned it into. What about Mrs. Claus? Oh, I wouldn't worry. If I know my wife, I bet she's decking the halls as we speak. Those savages have set my prized pine aflame. And is that... is that Dancer? Prancer? Oh, oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, sweet Cupid. Vixen! What have they done? Time to fight. Santa, take cover! I didn't come here to observe, child. I'm taking the North Pole back. Yes, Santa, you tell him! Santa! Big Christmas are here. What's going on, Tinsel? Claus has taken over the workshop. He's turned Twinkle and the boys from shipping and receiving against us. Claus isn't going to get away with this. Twinkle even created a fleet of evil mechanical brains. So this is where the rain...
shop is ahead. Hmm. Mary has enacted emergency shutdown. That little guy mentioned mechanical reindeer. Santa, where are the stables? <laughs> Reindeer friends, and made these... these... abominations! Claws is one twisted you-know-what. You know what? Turn your head, and... cough! It's all the reindeer here. There are other stables? I'll take you there.
it's all of them. Xana, your time is over. Twinkle, how could you? Claus gave us a better deal, Flumpy. Weekends off, sick pay, and we get to make guns. Real ones. He's on the move. My goodness! Claus has turned Twinkle and his cohorts into giant elves! Giant elves? Where? Right there! Have you seen? Wait, you mean the normal-sized people? Normal size to you, but giant for elves. Twinkle, my most trusted elf. He's been with me so long, I can't believe he betrayed me. It'll be okay, Santa, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Probably. Wow, boss. Real convincing. Now that Claus is grounded, what's next? We have to get into the workshop. Are you seriously feeling nothing here? Christmas is dying right before your eyes. You want me to lie, Shandy? It's just a holiday. That is so sad. Okay. Here's the packing area. This is where the magic happens. And where the magic will die if we don't act soon. Don't say that, Santa. We're going to stop Claus. We're going to fix the future. With the front closed off, the only way into the workshop is through the present sorter. Ah, I always did look good for the ground. dear, can you be a good girl and stay here? If we don't make it, you have to tell the others. I'm not leaving your side, Santa. I need you to do this for me, Shandy. What? I've come too far to stop now. Do you know what I've been through? I've lost friends, compatriots, my arm. And an eye. Yes, and an eye. I can't just give you up, Santa. This is about something much bigger than me, Shandy. This is about Christmas. And those other holidays, too. Fine. Fine. I'll stay. But don't forget about me. Thank you, dear. I won't. Get away from me! Oh, honey, you're okay! Yep. Time to talk, sweet. The elves and I are kicking ass. <laughs> like I said, she's decking the hall. Whoa, Mrs. Claus is a badass. The only good cookie is a dead one. Nope, you're not Smell of burnt icing in the morning. turned everyone against us. Me and the Elf Resistance have been trying to protect the pole. Is it safe? You know it, hun. But this fight is far from over. Wait, the North Pole is a weapon? The North Pole is whatever you need it to be. But mainly, yeah. It's a weapon. Oh, I think you'll find something special for you, too. For me? Oh, Santa, you shouldn't have. What's Christmas without music? Hey there, Santa. How are you? Don't you know your days are through? Claws, you fiend! Stay back, dear. We got this. I'm fighting too, honey. Your army never will give me pause. For none can stop the mighty claws. Grab the fat man quickly, you, and grab his little help! Go! 
Get the North Pole! Bring it here! We must... Where'd that animal claws go? Probably popped away to some other simulation. I thought taking out his reindeer would stop him. The sleigh can take us wherever we want to go. Shop is in shambles. We'll fix this. We'll rebuild. Right, yeah, we'll fix this, Santa. I'm gonna eat you alive. Wait, what about that Shandy girl? Claus is holed up under a protective shield gaining strength. At midnight, he'll be unstoppable. Unless you can bring holiday cheer back to the people before the clock strikes twelve. Use Santa's sleigh to deliver presents to those on the night list. And punish the naughty with coal. Hopefully we can kill the bastard and save your future from the hell I've lived. So how can I use this sleigh to bring holiday cheer to the people? It's really quite simple. You must deliver presents to the nice girls and boys, and send coal to those who are naughty. Seems easy enough. Oh, believe me. Try visiting the entire world in a single evening before you say it's easy. <laughs> Though, as my junior Santa, I'm sure you'll do just fine. He called me Junior Santa. All right, time for the gift. And don't forget coal delivery. That's very important, too. How does giving out coal spread cheer anyway? It reminds people that they have to be better if they want to be on the nice list. After all, nobody wants to be on the naughty list. And what about me? Am I on the, uh, nice list? You've come a long way since you rescued me. You still need to understand the cool giving spirit of the holidays. I'm trying, Santa. I, I, I'm trying. <laughs> you don't want them to wake up. It's important you make deliveries while people still sleep in their beds. But people already believe you exist. Well, not me. You know, before. But now I do. Why hide? That's a story I'm sure you're not interested in. Really, I'd love to know. As your junior Santa, it may come in handy. Well, there may have been an incident with a mother attacking me under some mistletoe. When Mary saw the lipstick on my fur collar, I told her it wasn't my fault. 
But ever since then, she's insisted I only deliver presents while everyone's asleep. Uh, yeah, okay. Not so handy to know. If you're naughty and you know it, here's some coal. If you're naughty and you know it, here's some coal. If you're naughty and you know it, then your place will surely show it. If you're naughty and you know it, here's some coal. That's quite a bitchy song. Would you mind if I sang it on future holidays? Right ahead. It in your heart to defeat Claws. Remember to embrace the spirit of the season. I will, Santa. Thank you. It's almost midnight. You have to hurry. The spirit's alive, but still I stand. Once you are dead, I'll corrupt this land. Don't worry, we're here to give out a holiday feeding. Looks like Claus is still untouchable. What happened? The spirit is stirring, but this city leans heavy on the naughty side. Like the different symbols of the season, and maybe these people will come around. Um, what is this pole, and how do I light it on fire? How can you not know what a best of this pole is? You need to perform a feat of strength! Take that! Pole. Now we all have to bitch at each other! Come again? It's called airing grievances. I, I can't stand those diet cookies. Wait they... My turn! I'm sick and tired of how everyone takes it for granted, and I'm always going to have to find information on that, or know where to go and what to do next. Did I ever get a bonus for some gift for doing all this for you? No. Kenzie, we gave you the spaceship. Oh. Yeah, I guess you did. Well, never mind then. 
What about you, Pierce? You always complain about something. Let's hear it. Nah, I'm cool. Can't be serious. Really? I got nothing. Well, it's a holiday miracle. We're going to need a bit more holiday cheer to track that shield. I'm open to suggestions. Finish delivering the presents, of course. But they were all destroyed with the sleigh. Well, then, Saint Kinsey to the rescue. Get all these. You can't stop Christmas just because of a craft sleigh and a few book and presents. I figured since you gave me the spaceship, I might as well help save the holidays. You put my workshop out of business, young lady. Santa, I'd never want to step on your toes. So teasing you. It's impossible to tell the difference between such times. I hope you've been good. You think it's cheer, but you cannot see. All of these people now serve me. Asunder. Oh shit, are we too late to stop him? No, he used up all his power to go to right in himself. We have to kill him now. Gandhi, this isn't working. I don't understand it. He should be dying. Well, that's because he's protected by the hatred and greed of those still on the lock. Only one thing can do that. Hearing and cheering. <laughs> oh, I know. Claus needs his own top-of-the-line laptop and bondage harness. Just want to be clear. You can't murder your way onto the nice list. Santa, I... You never believed in me. But despite that, you spread cheer to the people of Steelport. You saved the holiday. And for that, I thank you. But it takes more than one good deed to show a change of heart. I know, Santa. Listen, the night isn't over yet. Experience the joy of Christmas, not because it will keep me from becoming a god tyrant, but because it feels good to spread joy to strangers and build memories with family and friends. You do that, and I'll put you on the nice list. Are you sure there's time? It's Christmas. There's always time for a miracle. 